a clean body a healthy me is a happy me so what is it that you need to do in order to be happy good health depends on eating drinking breathing and living in healthy environment causes of diseases you are around 10 years old now you must have suffered from cold fever dysentery measles etc sometime or the other it was unpleasant to be ill right let us learn about how we get diseases diseases are caused by microorganisms microorganisms are very tiny living things they can be seen only under a microscope disease causing microorganisms are called germs or pathogens when the germs causing a particular disease enter our body we get that particular disease the germs enter our body through food and water air direct contact with insects or infected person food and water get contaminated by flies cockroaches dirt and dust food which is not cooked in a clean and hygienic place will carry germs people who cook may not use clean utensils germs would enter the food they handle if people who serve or cook food suffer from any intestinal disease they are likely to infect others with the same disease if they do not wash and wipe their hands including nails properly germs would enter the food they handle contaminated food and water can cause diseases like jaundice diarrhea typhoid cholera and dysentery diseases that spread through air are called airborne diseases when a person suffering from cold flu or viral fever coughs or sneezes germs get spread in the air anyone who breathes this infected air catches the disease common cold flu measles diphtheria and tuberculosis are some of the airborne diseases contagious diseases the diseases that spread through direct contact are called contagious diseases ringworm scabies mumps chickenpox and conjunctivitis spread by touching the infected person or sharing towels handkerchiefs etc with an infected person vector borne diseases the diseases that spread 
through insects are called vector borne diseases. Lies transmit typhus fever. Plague spreads through rats. Malaria and dengue spread through mosquito bites. When a female Anopheles mosquito bites a person suffering from malaria, the germs enter the body of mosquito. The mosquito doesn't get infected, but when it bites a healthy person, that person gets malaria. Prevention of Diseases Mosquitoes lay eggs in stagnant water. Prevent stagnation of water in your surroundings. Anne, Pulkit and Saima have dirty hands. Each of them washed their hands for 15 seconds. Anne uses cold water. Pulkit uses cold water and soap. Saima uses warm water and soap. Who will have the cleanest hands? Why? Saima will have the cleanest hands of all as warm water and soap will remove the germs and dirt properly. Remember to dry your hands thoroughly after you have washed them. Vaccination Vaccination is a preventive measure. The vaccine given orally or injected in a person's body enables him or her to fight that particular disease. After vaccination, if the germs of that particular disease enter his or her body, he or she will remain safe. Diseases like polio, measles, whooping cough, diphtheria, hepatitis, mumps, etc can be controlled through vaccines. Most vaccines are injected into the body. Polio vaccine is given through oral drops. We should only use fresh and sterilized needles for vaccination in order to avoid any infection. Vaccination chart for children. This is the vaccination chart of the different vaccines given to children. When there is an outbreak of cholera or typhoid, health workers from the public health department of that state set up health camps to immunize people, that is, give vaccine to prevent the disease. Now, scientists are trying to find a vaccine against malaria.